Well, I, I'm at that talking, so I, I, I will uh, do all the talking. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and do the talking. We both attended um, Tranquility Government Secondary School. He was in two forms higher than myself. Um, first time I saw John, I was in Form 1. He was in love. John, <laughs> right, right. He, was, <laughs> he was sitting on a, on a bench. It, it had like a little ruckus in the class and the dean come and he pulled everybody out. And I, well, I, it was myself and two of my other friends and we were sitting by the dean office and I was fixing my hair. But I was, I'm not, okay, I'm not saying that John was watching me. But I, you know, I just feel somebody staying. And when I look across to the, another building, the next block, I saw him, I was like, girl, we see. Them time T.I. come out now, so I said, he really resembles T.I. boy. Ah. He don't like that. As you really <laughs> no, but that is how over. I met Jay. Mm. That is how I met, well, that is the first time I saw Jaron. I met Jaron to my, well, the same friend I told him, well, I told her, you know, look him. She, she was very brave. So she went to him and she was like, my friend really like you, you know. And he started coming around when I was in Form 3. He was in Form 5 about to leave. So that's when he started to show his interest. That day she thought I was watching, I was actually watching the railing in front. You was watching a railing, Jaron. <laughs> <laughs> a shame. Yeah, but that's where we all met in, in, in Tranquil. Yeah. Well, well, that would be a tough question to answer after 10 years we've yeah. been together. Yeah. So it had a lot of fun moments, you know. It had plenty of things we like to do, you know. She used to come and support me playing football. Yeah. Um, started, I like, I like shooting, like a license pellet and things. We used to go shooting sometimes yeah. and she used to enjoy most things. I yeah. enjoy. Yeah. And yeah. That are a lot of fun fun memories. A lot of fun things. Some of my funniest moments was wasn't so fun for her because it was more based on getting her angry. But we had a lot of fun moments. Yeah. What what became a challenge is when God blessed me with a gift to sing. And it wasn't it wasn't planned because we know when God doing something, He do. He, sometimes you don't even know what He doing with you, and, and then it was just like this, which God just sent me this thing as a ministry. What people call a gospel artist, and it that requires a lot of time in studio, and so it was a whole drastic change from football. I was in football, and whereas training used to be from about four to probably six, four to seven, now this requires a little more time in the studio. So sometimes. In her, for her birthday, I remember her time for her birthday, how be in the studio, and you know they love the time and the quality yes. time, and it 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 was tough, yeah. and then, but I thank God I left the city time where where we reap the 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 the, the, benefits. the benefits of the sacrifice, yeah. and all I could say is thank you Jesus for yeah. that. That was one of the, and it it still continued to be a challenge because. I'm never still, wrong, yeah. not, not never wrong, but always on the go. Yeah. What makes her special, you know, she's dedicated. She's a very organized young lady, and that's something I, I always observe with her from way back when. I remember, even if when I now started going by them, which was a, was a challenge because I, I'm a kind of shy person. So just to get in the house was a problem. All when they say, "Mommy, say come out, say I'm going," and I had to go now. <laughs> <laughs> and then I finally got there and certain things I'll observe with her. Sometimes she'll be doing things, but she look, she, she have a lot of nephews. Mm. She, so even though she's doing this here, she, she'll keep her eye on each one of them. Hey, what are you doing? And sometimes I ride there not doing anything and I didn't even <laughs> see where he pick up that. And she's very observant. She very, when she make up her mind to do something, nothing did stop her. And that's just a few of the many things I love about her. What, um, just yesterday, I was talking about one of the, the things that I love about her, not just one. You see earlier when you were saying a cocky, that's not true, eh? But Jaron does make me feel like I am the nicest girl in the world. That is how he does make me feel. I wouldn't have to ask him, Jay, how I look? You understand? One time, baby. They look nice. Um, 
well. Like anything I cook here, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it didn't taste good. Even if it didn't taste good, he eating it. He was saying, babe, not tasting good. Oh. It's cool, it's all right, and he still eats it all. But on the serious note, Jaron is my brother, my friend. We are a friendship. <laughs> I can't describe it, but I think that is what makes us who we are, or how, how strong we are in the, the amount of years that we are together. Um, just like how you say, um, if I make up my mind to do something, nothing could him. He is, is one thing. He encourages me always to do the right thing. Even when I think my way, Jay, this is the right way. No, no, see, check it this way. And eventually, yeah, it is the right way. And he is not one to see or encourage me to do something wrong or to think the wrong way. He's always give people or things the benefit of the doubt. See, don't think that way. And I, to me, I write. I 100% write and Jaron. So he, he's like, he's like my caretaker, you, you know? He there for me, he on my back with everything. So yeah. Well, well, the advice I'll give is a regret I had of not putting Jesus at the front of it from the beginning, you know, and our next fun, one of the funnest moments we had, as I just recall, is we got baptized together, together. Yeah. and that, that was a, a blessing, you know, yeah. seeing that it was, I didn't have to, I didn't have to, I didn't force her to, yeah, to, didn't to, to oh, it. this is what you had to do to be, no, we came a mutual decision and this is what we'll do is the best thing for us and yeah and even after that it still had some short shortcomings and some stumbling and and i thank god that now we, we put jesus first even if something or one of us go the wrong way you see that thing called conviction yeah. conviction always draw the line and and the boundaries and the limits so right yeah we can't go so far again or you should not take it this far and I, I'll just simply encourage couples for Jesus first. It may you know? sound like a cliche, but it is the truth. Put Christ first, center everything. And, and one of my advice would be, as I said, you have to have a friendship. Because in Kongsen, I could, I could recall in Kongsen yesterday, our pastor was asking, now, what about your friend? That you just be so excited to be around how him that's how it should be with your partner and, and and it might sound funny because i know this might be a gay just towards the, what's the christian people but i'm a christian and i could only say what works for me yeah right so that's why i say i put jesus in the center and prayer prayer praying together yeah, reading your we, word together yeah you could only benefit could only benefit from that that time and that sacrifice could only open up more doors and, and, and bring more blessings, blessings to the, yeah. the, the marriage or the relationship.